The silence of a five-week summer break for the Dunlop MSA British Touring Car Championship was broken as the eager paddock returned to action at Snetterton in Norfolk for round 16, 17 and 18 of the 2015 season. Thousands of fans flocked to the circuit to see how the next chapter would unfold and they weren't to be disappointed. The second half of the year kicked off in typically dramatic BTCC style, starting in Saturday's qualifying, which saw Team BMR take its first ever 1-2-3 grid lockout. In top spot was reigning champion Colin Turkington, ahead of Aaron Smith with the ballast-laden car of Jason Plato third. Gordon Shedden was leading the driver's standings coming into the weekend, but he was to have a tough time of it at Snatterton, starting with power steering problems in qualifying that put him down in 16th place. As the lights went out for the first time, Turkington made a great getaway ahead of his teammates, with Smith and Plato going side by side off the line before slotting back into position. There was drama immediately for Croft Heroes WSR, as a slight mistake from Sam Tordoff saw him spear his BMW into the back of Rob Collard's sister car. The damage effectively put Collard out, though Tordoff recovered to eventually finish 11th. As the front four blasted away, there was drama all through the field, and by mid-distance there was an exciting battle developing between Matt Neal and Andy Prio for fifth. The BMW ace attempted a move at Riches, but ran wide on exit, allowing Neal to nip back through at Montreal. The Honda man couldn't hold on for long, though, as Prio got his nose in front at Bombhole on the same lap and powered past. Once released, the Gunsyman quickly closed the gap to the top four, and given a few more laps, he might have made a move on Andrew Jordan and challenged Plato for a podium place. As it was, the three BMR Volkswagens crossed the line as they started, with Turkington claiming his second win of the season. Race two was one of the most incident-filled contests of an already thrilling year, as cars clashed from start to finish. It was another textbook getaway from Turkington, who started from pole, having set the fastest lap in the opener. Tordoff, alongside on the front row, bogged down, allowing the impressive Mercedes of Adam Morgan to surge through, and a sensational start from Prio brought him alongside Tordoff on the run to Montreal. He made the move stick around the outside to set up a race-long battle with Morgan for second. As Turkington was once again the class of the field, pulling away with maximum ballast on his car, it was a defiant and defensive display from Morgan, holding on against the chasing triple world touring car champion Prio, and the pair crossed the line, separated by less than two tenths of a second. Behind the front group, Honda's day went from bad to worse, as Neil collided with the rear of his teammate's car in the opening exchanges, and the resultant damage eventually put them both out of the running. It was also a tough start for the Eurotech cars of Martin Depper and Jeff Smith, who collided with Warren Scott on the opening laps, while podium man from race one Aaron Smith was in strife as contact with Dave Newsham's Chevrolet broke the suspension on both cars. In the midst of all the drama, it opened the door for some new BTCC point scorers. Derek Palmer, Rob Holland, Barry Horn and James Cole all put points on the board for the first time. With all this action behind, Turkington was in imperious form as he doubled up to the delight of Team BMR. MG man Jack Goff was on pole for the final reversed grid BTCC bout and he nailed the start to lead into Turn 1. Both Prio and Plato jumped toward off, who again had a slow getaway, with the number 111 BMW hanging on around the outside to grab second. Plato soon pulled the pin and passed Prio with an amazing move around the outside at Brundle. But for most of the race, Goff was able to manage a gap to the new championship leader. After defending so well in race two, another strong result for Adam Morgan was undone by a mistake at turn one, which had him sliding all over the grass and he fell outside the top ten, while another driver dropping down the order at mid-distance was early winner Turkington. He lost out first to Jordan and then to the returning motor-based performance forward focus of Matt Jackson. There were no mistakes for Jack Goff at the head of the pack, though, as despite coming under pressure from Plato on the last few laps, he crossed the line to take a hugely popular maiden win in Britain's top racing series. And celebrations in the garage undoubtedly went on long after the flag, as the win was also the first for MG and Triple Eight this year. Goff incredibly becomes the ninth different winner to date, but it was Colin Turkington who made the biggest inroads, moving to second in the driver's standings. And he spoke to Louise Goodman after the thrilling three Snetterton races.
Well, it's been a pretty good weekend, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a super weekend, uh, Louise, uh, to get two wins and another solid score in, in race three. I'm delighted, you know, it's really brought me back into the hunt. Uh, I was feeling a little bit left out of things, so, uh, you know, I needed a performance like that to, uh, you know, to, to show him back, so uh, great day. It's going to make your, your teammate Jason Plato, who's in the leader of the championship, sit up and take notice. But it's, I mean, having that inter-team battle is only going to be a positive thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, it's it's been like that from, from day one. You know, Jason, I guess, has, um, you know, had the little edge on, on pace. He's, um, this is all sort of familiar territory for him. Um, you know, I had a bit of adjusting to do, but a feeling like I've, uh, like I've nearly cracked it now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we push each other hard, but, um, you know, as we know, there's a, there's a lot of strong drivers in this series, so uh, yeah, the competition comes from all angles. But if you're saying you feel like you've nearly cracked it and you've gone out and won two races a day, including one with Maximum Ballast on board, that suggests there's more to come, which is a little bit of a worry for everyone else, isn't it? Well, you know, the other thing is Snetterton is, um, you know, plays to our strengths. This is where, this is perfect Volkswagen territory. You know, we go to Knock Hill next which you know could could be more of a workout so uh, you just got to be consistent and uh, and keep working hard and uh, you know hopefully the results will come see you there thanks very much